This is the Transformers Robots in Disguise 2 pack featuring the Decepticon Hunter Optimus Prime versus the Minicon Decepticon Bludgeon. For most of you, this figure or set of figures is probably a retro review or a, a something uh, a bit of a past uh, from the past uh, or an old figure to review. And you're probably wondering why I'm doing it just now. It's because. We haven't gotten these figures here in Manila, in the Philippines. The local importer of Hasbro products skipped these bunch of figures, and I think they are waiting for them to go on clearance on at several different countries like Thailand, Hong Kong, Malaysia, whatever, before they get them because they probably think these things are not going to move as fast as the Deluxes or the Warrior Classes or the Legions or whatever. But we've never gotten it. Um, my wife was kind enough to pick one up for me uh, during her trip in Spain and it was pretty awesome it cost about 22 euros not too bad uh, I decided to just pick Optimus Prime I told her to just get Optimus Prime wasn't really interested in the other figures uh, there was a sideswipe uh, but I said no so anyway uh, here he is uh, he's in about the uh, he's somewhere in between a deluxe class and a legends class a new legends class so um, well, show off the comparisons later, but this is this is the armor pieces. They, the, the instructions say that um, the pieces form a much bigger weapon, which in turn he can use to swat bludgeon. So yeah, he can do, this is how he gets bludgeon, <laughs> and it just doesn't stay on uh, as sturdy as I thought it would. So. It, crushing like that and it's a nice little gimmick I, I actually like that that the armor pieces do transform into a bigger weapon like an energon weapon like an energon um, like armor is like made of energon or energy projected and then it transforms to that weapon now bludgeon is a minicon and uh, he doesn't do much there's no articulation on this he's well detailed I love the, the detail on him uh, the sculpted uh, on his armor on his head sculpt there's a little bit of a little face on his chest plate and there's no articulation his feet can move because of the transformation the arms or the hands they just rotate like that because of transformation and speaking of transformation rotate the fists inward they actually they're easy to pop off so be careful with that and then you just close every collapse everything in into a ball and that's it that's how he becomes the bludgeon wrecking ball whatever um he's got that sticker which you can scan using the game okay and that's that um optimus prime on the other hand can arm himself with some i think these are the decepticon hunter armor um <clears throat> this piece is the center piece you can plug in right here just like that and then the uh these other pieces these are the leg pieces like that these are the arm pieces or the shoulder pieces uh, oh arm pieces right i was mistaken It's amazing. It's interesting that the spikes are facing downwards. Uh, I would have expected the spikes to be facing upwards, but and then he's got his big axe, big ass axe weapon, which is super cool. He's now a Decepticon hunter. His head cannot or cannot twist. Um, it's a shame his head cannot twist uh, uh, with the armor on, but. Yeah, he still looks pretty cool. So, yeah. Does the weapon stay anywhere? Uh, well, in, in truck mode, it's supposed to stay here, like that. But it's stupid if you do it in robot mode, so. Okay, we'll have him hold it for now. Okay, on to the size comparison. So, I'm upright. This is a warrior class figure. This is the warrior class Optimus Prime. As you can see, he's not as tall as a warrior class figure. This is the new Legends sized Optimus uh, figures. 
from the Generations line. This is the old Legends class, which is now the Legion class. And this is the pen, Optimus Prime pen. So as you can see, he's, he's nowhere in that scale. See, I don't know what scale this is. It should be a Scout class, I suppose. But this, I think, is the new Scout class. I don't know. Okay. Okay, so let's get him transformed into his truck mode. Let's get rid of the armor pieces. Incidentally, you can you can build the whole arm, the, the gun, uh, the you can build the whole axe giant weapon again if you want to, and then put it somewhere in the truck mode. But I don't think it'll fit. I think this is the only one that will fit in truck mode. So let's see. Okay, let's transform him. Okay, move this out of the way, and then. Raise the arms like that, and rotate the arms this way, and there you go. That's it. Oh, sorry. Connect the, the leg pieces, connect the arms, just tab them onto those holes, and there is Optimus in his truck mode. Very, very simple. Feels like a one-step or two-step, three-step changing transformer. And he rolls okay. Uh, there's not much paint apps on this particular vehicle except for the smokestacks, which is nice. The windshield, okay, but the grill, the headlights, rear end lights, nothing. There's nothing, no Autobot symbol present there. The Autobot symbol is right there, so uh, a bit of a bummer. There's so many gaps in it that didn't fill up. That's okay. And then, as I said, this one, the weapon, should fit right here. And then the others, um, the instructions don't actually say where you can, where you can fit them. Um, there, there has to be, there, sh there should be a way to do it. Even the pictures, they don't, they don't show anything. Uh, but I'm sure some of you can, can figure out a way how to, to connect it. There are some grooves and notches here and there which might, or peg holes, or something that might fit the the tabs of the weapon. But I'm, not, I'm not experimenting on that one right now. So even this one is a very loose fitting uh, mode. You can probably connect some here and there, and uh, I don't know, or yeah, it's not gonna go that way. So anyway, that's that. Uh, it's an interesting set. I'm actually, qu I was quite actually impressed, I was actually quite impressed with this particular set. I didn't think it, I thought it was gonna suck. I didn't think it was gonna be that impressive, but it's actually pretty neat. It's gonna get an eight out of 10 for me. Not something you wanna hunt down or anything like that. You can buy it off on clearance somewhere. I'm pretty sure it's probably on clearance wherever you are, except here in Manila because it's nowhere to be found. So there you go, folks. Hope you've enjoyed this little video review. This has been the new, the old, <laughs> an, an old figure, 2016 figure, uh, Transformers, robots in disguise, the two-pack, Decepticon Hunter Optimus Prime versus Minicon Decepticon Bludgeon. Thanks for watching.